Mesoblast is a biomedical company. Uh, we're developing late stage therapies based on proprietary cell therapy that uh, we're, we're developing. Uh, cells called mesenchymal lineage cells that uh, uh, are present in all of us that uh, we, we extract and we can industrially scale up uh, for a range of very important unmet medical needs. I think there are several, several aspects that make Mesoblast unique. Firstly, we uh, are using a very uh, interesting and, and proprietary technology, the mesenchymal lineage platform. Uh, these cells are unique and they, ca they can be expanded into large numbers from a very small starting population and that they, they do not activate the immune system so therefore they can be used from one donor to literally treat thousands of unrelated people and that gives us a business model that is scalable and industrial and uh, with, with, a, with, with products that look and feel like typical um, drugs and biologics uh, with potency assays with batch to batch consistency and reproducibility. And that allows us to target large unmet needs, including chronic heart failure, including, including severe chronic back pain, uh, and, and including se severe immune-mediated diseases. Our, our cells have certain receptors on them that uh, can respond to signals that are present in, in, uh, at high levels in patients with immune-mediated diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, and in patients, uh, in, in, the, in those patients, our cells uh, are able to respond by switching off multiple arms of the immune system. That's particularly relevant to a disease like rheumatoid arthritis, especially in patients where 30% of the time uh, there, are, there are people who don't respond to, to standard uh, immune-mediated uh, therapies because the disease is multifactorial. So uh, in, in this target population, biologic refractory patients, uh, we are currently in the midst of a 48 patient phase two trial randomized, placebo-controlled, uh, uh, that, that is currently uh, being evaluated in the US, testing a single low-dose injection and a single high-dose injection versus placebo uh, in, in these unfortunate patients. And uh, data that we recently reported top-line results on uh, suggested that in the first cohort who, in, who received a single low-dose of our uh, off-the-shelf allogeneic cells, uh, at three months out there was, there was a, quite a substantial achievement of the primary endpoint, the ACR20 uh, improvement, and um, in addition to that, uh, a number of patients achieved what looked to be sustainable, durable remissions. Uh, so we were very excited by these initial data. Graphous host disease is a devastating complication in uh, children and adults who've undergone treatment for leukemia with chemotherapy, and then in order to build up their immune systems, they receive an unrelated donor bone marrow transplant. In that scenario, 50% of children and adults uh, develop graft versus host disease where the graft attacks their, their body. In those children and adults who have the more severe forms of the disease involving liver and, and gut, the probability of, of mortality is as high as 80 to 85% in the first several months. And in, in this disease, we're developing a, a product uh, that we call MSC 100 IV that aims to turn off the immune system and um, induce a complete remission and therefore improve survival in uh, these unfortunate cases. Um, well, our partner, JCR Pharma, has, uh, is, is our distributor for this, this product for Graphos host disease in Japan. They are also the manufacturer of the product. And uh, we will be the recipient of royalties and, and certain uh, payments based on uh, achievable milestones. Well, we, we said, um, to, we explained to the market that we intended to reduce our cash burn on a quarter on quarter basis by 20 to 25 percent and we've achieved that in the last quarter. We expect to continue to maintain that um, over, the, over this coming period. Uh, and uh, as I've just mentioned that we intend to bring in additional corporate partnerships into the, into the company which uh, if we're successful will, will mean an additional cash and certainly extension of our runway through to um, at least a f potential for a first product filing with the FDA. Well, there, there are a number of important catalysts. We're now a mature company. We've got multiple products in phase three. Um, we expect certain interim readouts from some of our phase three trials um, and we expect additional partnerships to, to uh, unveil themselves. And I think you're going to see that, that Mesoblast will continue to, to execute on what we um, have laid out in terms of crystallizing events. Uh, and and we are a, we're a global company. We have multiple products. We have a, a unique and, and patented 
technology that, that encompasses multiple jurisdictions. So we're, we're very excited about the near-term crystallizing events for the company.